Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cakeman Entertainment and today we are going to be reacting to The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2 Episode 7. Uh, we have reacted to the whole of the first season and the first six episodes of the second season. You can check that link out above. Uh, we've really enjoyed this show so far. We are again non-D&D fans. Uh, we haven't played the game or watched any of the shows up until this. But now, <laughs> yeah, now you can call us critters. Uh, yeah, we really do enjoy this. And this season's been really good so far. Especially the soundtracks have been brilliant, I have to say. Mm. Um, yeah, last time we obviously left with the big thing that Pike was in a sort of bad state. He was injured, right? He was yeah. badly injured, yeah, yeah. So oh, they got split and up And they as got well. split up, yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens in uh, this episode. Mm -hmm. All right, just tell us what you remember. How is she doing? Yeah. Didn't the dragon hit her out of the way? Oh crap! Oh, oh my <laughs> god! Oh, that's. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> that's like from. What's that movie called? Never ever ending or some shit. Never ending story. Remember an ending story? There's like things that look like that around. Oh, okay. around. Yeah. <laughs> does Grog still have his beard, by the way? Hmm. It does, right? Yeah. It's like a reforming, remember? It just regenerates. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and without Stalin, we have less dick jokes. <laughs> the skull also said sheep's milk is his favorite lubricant. So... <laughs> we should check that. How does she even remember <laughs> that? Yeah, well. Dogs dream. Hello. In my youth, I was fascinated by the Why does he seem so excited about this place? <laughs> it's like he studied, he studied yeah. it. Are we gonna get like eaten or something? <laughs> oh shit! This is so Positivity, man. <laughs> What the hell? A knife just formed in his hand. Oh, must have been the vestige. Can't believe I'm wasting this on a plant. Harmless, <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> because he wasn't happy though. That's why. It's probably the vestige as well. It's like dark around him. What the hell? What the hell was that? Like a bunny or something. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a bunny. It's pretty gonna be some murders. <laughs> like no. Oh. Oh the shit. sword like wants to blood. Oh come on Grog, you gotta get it, let it go now. It was soaking You're literally killing by. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. What's he doing? Oh, is he trying to break the sword? Mm. Oh. <laughs> can you even break that sword? Mm. Oh, okay, you can. Wait, what? Mm? What did he mean by I'm taking you with me? Oh! Mm, oh, there must be all the blood he's consumed. Mm. It's all come out. That's what we see a lot of times. Mm. He is like I've death now. Been here before. The sun's in the exact same spot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this like monkey thing? Hey, what you doing? Sounds like the guy from Lord of the Rings. You know the Hobbit? Um, Not the main one, the one of the friends. <laughs> oh my god. 
Pede esse cara. Drew Vexo tá aqui. Eles just let that guy go. Ok. <laughs> Wait, he can't even walk properly? <laughs> Why has he got no pants? Oh, because he's just up, it's too <laughs> Oh no. It's too big. Oh my god. <laughs> Why can't he move by himself? Yeah, He's know. just like a normal guy now. Yeah. It's just oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What's got his balls? <laughs> <laughs> My shit is going red. <laughs> He's going hey. red. Hey, and he ruined it. Mm. Yep, <laughs> idiot. Oh, you idiot, Scanlan. <laughs> you ruined it. No, she's going red again when he starts taking care. <laughs> That's a button. <laughs> yeah, it help. is. Hmm? It's Pippin. Is it? Yeah, from Lord of the Rings. I knew it. It sounded just like him. Does Pippin look like again? He's one of the hobbits. Remember one of the twins? Oh. Yeah. Remember the two brothers? Mm. The brother hobbits? The one that gives with like uh, the elf? Yeah, yeah. One of them? Yeah, one of those. Oh, okay. well, the redhead one. Yeah. It's like combining into a bigger one. <laughs> 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 what is that weapon he I mean, he like made it? some. It's like an Iron Man blaster or something. Is that doing anything? <laughs> Are they high? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're like cool. <laughs> She's like a depressed, yeah. like, um, high person or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Percy is like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah, soundtrack's always on. Wait, what? It has a face. Oh. How's it doing there? <laughs> uh, I don't have a moment. No, that's tricky in the water. Oh, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's like a little... Yeah. That's pretty badass. That's pretty cool. Probably can't use it again for a while, but I'm mm. guessing. It's the armor. The matron. In a different direction. Did you see that? All the fish, like, went out of the mm. screen as well. I appreciate All of life is, like, running so from him. Nothing. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, what? Why is it, like, rainbow? We're here. He's actually been carrying them the whole way. That's because it is. Wait, what? Single. You've been there before. Oh, that's where their parents are, or their dad. Oh. Wait, if they lived there, how come they don't recognize all of this? Because, see, I think Gargoyle, or whatever his name was, just said that this place just popped out of nowhere. Maybe they transported this place like, to here, uh, and then danger happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember someone else mentioned it. Remember, um, someone else was mentioning, I can't remember who it was, that the elves like ran away like as soon as the battle started. They must uh, have run here. Yeah, like when the dragon started. I, I think, think so. Or... Yeah, oh, I think okay. so. Or they fled or something. They yeah. must have gone here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that means they're probably going to see their father. <laughs> yeah, they must be. Yeah, or yeah, must bump into his father. It's maybe different because obviously they're like all grown up now, not like mm. their own children. They were children when they left. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it'd be just interesting to see their interactions with their father. I'm sure it'd be pretty tense. Mm. Uh, I don't know if they have a mother. There's not, we didn't see any we didn't mother. See, yeah. 
of the mother Saran of she's mm. uh, yeah that passed, could be why he's pissed off maybe she died in birth or something maybe, maybe yeah that would Possibly. explain some stuff I guess yeah it could po- it could explain the hostility mm. towards uh, his children mm. possibly I'm sure we'll see the exploration of that relationship quite soon so mm. yeah um, yeah overall yeah probably yeah it was it's a yeah it's a, it a good episode. Uh, obviously, there weren't any. Um, it was probably it was more of a story building episode. Mm-hmm. We got to see Pike and um, Grog and Scanlan uh, their journey, which unfortunately it was obviously quite different to the rest of the group. So mm-hmm. uh, Grog was fighting against the evil, you know, Craven Edge. Yeah, the, yeah the, the the evil will within the sword, mm-hmm. basically. Uh, which he was successfully able to destroy, but looks like as a consequence, he lost his strength. Yeah. And he's just like a normal guy now, or less than a normal guy, can't mm. even walk. Mm. Uh, but I, yeah, what did I you think, think of that? <laughs> yeah, I think, again, that's going to come back to where does your strength come from? Remember that Storm God is saying, now his strength is gone, right? His physical strength. So mm. I think, again, I'm sure he's going to get back to that guy at some point, and then he'll find out where does his true strength come from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's at his worst point now, so... I, I yeah I can't see that not happening. Like, mm-hmm. but I don't know when it will happen. Though. It's sort of hard to say for me. Mm-hmm. Um, because they're not even in that place anymore. So, but mm-hmm. maybe that guy will seek him out and help him or something. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, yeah I, I definitely see Grog going off. I think he'll probably leave Vox Machina for a little bit to learn more about himself mm-hmm. and to gain his strength back somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I guess the yeah the other side of the journey was with um, Vex, Vax, Keyleth, and Percy. And their little new mate, um, Gargil, Gargoyle, I forgot his name, but Garg something. Mm-hmm. Uh, who is, yeah, who's Pippin from Lord of the Rings. So, <laughs> it's, yeah, I thought his voice sounded very familiar. Um, yeah, this side was obviously a bit more com- comedic. Uh, they're getting high and like, a lot of, <laughs> there was a lot of funny little stuff along the way. Uh, I guess v- Vax is now more and more realizing that he is something else now. Like, he is... Mm darkness he is death effectively like he's the champion of death so he is like mm. in a partial way death like he keeps seeing a reflection of himself like it's like a skeleton mm. and yeah like you can see nat- nature's like walking away from him there's some nice shots in there where like he was looking at the water like waiting to see the reflection which was still himself but then you see like the fishes were, the fish were like around him but then slowly they all like they go away. they all go I-, I don't know if that was on purpose or not i'm sure, I'm it, sure was. it was it seems yeah. It was a subtle thing that a lot many people probably would have noticed, but I noticed it, and I was like, I guess it shows that life is sort of like running away from mm. um, Vax, and also that monster was going after Vax. Like, I don't know if like that, like death attracts him. I don't know what it is now, mm-hmm. but I guess he is technically sort of death, right? Um, mm. I don't know if that means that he can't really die because I, would death let him die? Like, I don't know. Is he yeah. protect, like death controls his death, right? Yeah. So can't she control if he dies or not? I'm sure that is the case, yeah. right? If she wants him to stay as his champion, I'm sure he'll just stay alive forever. Yeah. Like maybe even immortal. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, with that. Um, the other characters, not too much, but I guess, again, Vax with Percy, a little bit of relationship there. Mm-hmm. Vax is still very pissed off with Percy. And I don't think this vestige with Vax helps that um, Vax is sort of struggling to forgive Percy. And mm-hmm. I'm sure this vestige is sort of altering his mind a bit, keeping him in the dark More state More negative, too. yeah. Yeah, he doesn't want to. But they sort of found a bit of a contrast. I guess Percy, yeah, Percy does understand. Well, it's like if he literally did this in season one. He's getting mm-hmm. through his dark period with, a, like, not a vestige, but a similar thing trying to control him. Yeah. And, yeah, he nearly lost his way, but they brought him back. So he said, I'm with you. But then... Vax is like, I'm on a different path to you guys. So I wonder if he's going to diverge from them after this. Oh, yeah. He's well. going to go off on his own yeah. or something like it, that. It looks like that's what they're sort of lining up. Like, I bet for the end of the season, it's probably going to be like, he's going off there. Keyleth's going off to uh, Aramente. Mm. Um, Grog will find his strength somewhere else. Mm. Like, it seems like they're all, like, diverging a little bit. Mm. And maybe they'll go on their own little trips. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, unless you have anything to add. Uh, no, I think you did a good job covering everything, yeah. Okay, again, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.